pull up in the driveway. What did you see, fish? I saw three deer. <laughs> what, did you see them, Bert? And they were standing broadside saying, nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Just one of them days. All right, folks, we're headed out. <coughs> PTO's with me. There's old fish. There's the Burke. Uh, youth hunting here in the state of Alabama. Uh, we got our hunter orange on. And uh, to each of you who's going out uh, in the next few weeks, please safety first. I'd like to uh, put a shout out to Mike Pentecost and Woodhaven Outdoors for these nice Richardson hunting hats. And uh, in the state of Alabama, that is sufficient is 144 square inches of hunter's orange, but uh, we go a little bit above and beyond and I recommend that highly. So uh, be careful, be safe and uh, stick with us. All right, man, fish, you're sitting here in the shooting house. Uh, got up fairly early, got out here before daylight. Things just have not uh, went the way we had planned because the winds picked up. Uh, wind probably started about six o'clock this morning. If it usually, if it's blowing that time of day, it's gonna blow most of the day. So uh, we're gonna ease out of here in just a minute. Go pick up the Burke and uh, get us an afternoon hunt, hopefully. Me and Fish <clears throat> has text Berkeley to be on the lookout for us because we're coming to him. So we ease up here. We're gonna give him a little signal. And uh, that's always just a safety precaution. <clears throat> All right, let's go get the bird. All right, Berkeley's safely down out of his stand. He's taking his rifle off of the, the rope that we got so that you can safely go up to the stand. And then once you're secure, you can draw your uh, rifle safely up. All right, Berkeley, did you have a good hunt this morning? Seen some, what'd you see? Did you see anything? I saw some squirrels. Well, that's what I said. I mean, we got here fairly early and it was kind of disappointing when you get here and the wind's blowing because that means it's going to blow most of the day. So we're here to that fish. Not going to leave too much scent in the woods. Uh, we're going to ease back out and uh, possibly come back for an afternoon hunt. All right, folks, a little coaching point today. Uh, this is Tim Perkins, your outdoor coach. When you're deer hunting, uh, masking your scent is very important and uh, you know I know there's a lot of things out there on the market but uh, you know some of the old timers actually used what was readily available on the property and it actually probably works better uh, number one pine needles that pine uh, has a lot of uh, loud smell you can uh, rip those needles off Stick them in your pockets, uh, rub them on your clothes, and uh, pine needles to mask your human smell. Uh, but a lot of the old timers love to use this plant. It's rabbit tobacco. Rabbit tobacco. So what you do is you rake the leaves down. It's got a good sagey kind of smell. Mm -mm. Put them in your pocket or break the tops off. 
stick them in your pocket. And there you are, you got natural scent right here readily available. The animals are not smelling a strange scent. So that's a great coaching tip today coming to you from the outdoor coach. All right, folks, we're out of the woods and uh, we're headed to one of our favorite parts of the hunt. What's that? Right, <laughs> Get us a biscuit. <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it? Uh, we drove probably, I don't know, 15 miles away is where we hunt at. Uh, we go get us a biscuit. We, we having a good time. Pull up in the driveway. What did you see, fish? I saw three deer. <laughs> did you see them burnt? And they were standing broadside saying, nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Just one of them days. I wanted to take this time to uh, set this afternoon hunt up. Uh, this is opening day of youth hunt in the state of Alabama. Uh, so we're going into the afternoon. It's still windy. We know that it's going to be a waiting game. It's going to be until the wind lays down before these deer start to move. And we've tried to play the wind in our favor the best we could. But as you see as these uh, as the film rolls out, we're gonna learn some valuable lessons pretty quick. Uh, we're going into the hunt with a couple of handicaps. Uh, <laughs> not both boys, but Fisher is right-handed, but he shoots left. That's a whole different episode. Uh, Berkeley has just had shoulder surgery in his right shoulder. So he's having to shoot left-handed. So I've got two boys sitting in the blind. They both shoot left-handed. That's like sitting at a dinner table uh, with two left-handers at the dinner table at the same place. So we're here, and wouldn't you know it, we got our multiples come out, our multiple deer come out, but it's a dominant doe comes out, and she's more than not more than 15 yards from us. First lesson we learned, we don't want to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dominant doe. That dominant doe is probably the keenest animal in our part of the woods. And she tried multiple times to bust us. Uh, lesson two that we learned is that we elected to stand and shoot instead of sit and prop. And we stood a little bit early. So uh, with our anxiousness in getting up early, we're having to stand motionless with a dominant doe staring us down just so happens the wind is in our favor. That's the only thing that kept us from being busted. But as you see as the film rolls out, that these they start to shake a little bit in their anticipation. And number three lesson that they had to learn is that we had scripted it to the T on how things were gonna fold out. But in the end, nature won. So, Sit back. I hope you uh, get some insight to that, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the film. We're set up for uh, an afternoon hunt. I got the burke, got fish, got us a little blind set up, and uh, the wind's still blowing. And I'm telling them that uh, probably the deer are not going to move until late this afternoon. So it's a, it's a sitting game. So. Um, They've got their phones, and uh, uh, they've got the screen uh, brightness turned way down, and we're just sitting here for the wait. If it's brown, if it's brown, it's if it's brown, it's you heard it's this.
one down. We was trying to pull a double with the two guys. And it just didn't work out that way. But we got that dominant doe. She tried to bust us several times. But, uh, Shoulder surgery. I can't shoot right here. I got a little bit high. Did that deer just twitch his ear? But anyway, if it's brand, it's damn. Successful one day. That other one got tied up with that one when fish got ready to shoot. Kind of crossed him up a little bit, so. He'll get his shot. Hard work! Hard work! Hard work! Work! Hard work! Work! Hard work! Work! Hard work. Hard work. Hard work.